Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we are going to check out the A4V studio monitors from Adam. If you've heard of Adam monitors, you have probably thought of the A7X monitors, which are a modern classic in my opinion. Anyone who's worked in audio has at least done a little bit of work on those monitors. I had a set myself for many years. Today, we are going to look at their successors, the improved version, if you will, in the A4V monitors from Adam. Now, before we go any further, this is a sponsored video. This video is brought to you by Sweetwater. Sweetwater is your home for all things pro audio related and for any studio monitors, big or small, head on to the link down below in the description. Check some out for yourself, Sweetwater. Now the A4V monitors offer some new bells and whistles that we haven't really seen in the Atom monitors of this price point. These are a two-way powered studio monitor with a four inch driver and X-Art tweeter. Now Adam has partnered with Sonarworks to let you utilize the A4Vs and the room correction software of the Sonarworks Reference ID plugin, which you can get separately. But if you already use that software, there is a profile for these monitors and then you can then tune your room, use their microphone to shoot your room, analyze, and then adapt your room sound to these monitors. I love that. Now, another new feature that I really like and I think works quite well with the A4Vs is the room adaptation controls on the back. These are push button controls to kind of fine tune depending on the placement and the scenario in which you are using these monitors. So there's low end control, low mid control, mid control, high frequency control, and then you also have voicing. And you can switch between room, UNR, and external. Pure is going to give you the flattest signal. UNR is an EQ curve suitable for, you know, movies and listening back for music, but not necessarily mix oriented, if that makes sense. So right now, let's go ahead and compare a mix that I did on the A4Vs with my Genelec 8331 monitors. Massive price difference. However, I originally did the mix on the Genelec and I will AB the final mixes that I did with both sets of monitors just to give you an idea of the differences that I heard in my room. Just know that I am not using the Sound ID reference correction software with these speakers in this room. I can't find my microphone. So I'm just using these monitors flat out as they sound. However, just know that the results would probably improve drastically if I accounted for the room in which these are in, which is this one. So let's do a little bit of AB comparison just to give you some kind of a reference on how these sound. So what do I think? These retail for $4.99 each. You know, any studio monitor at that price point has to have DSP in the modern world. It's become so inexpensive to integrate that kind of tech and the tech is so beneficial in so many scenarios. I am really glad to see that these have DSP. However, they still have the signature Adam sound and that nice, nice top end that is crisp, but not harsh thanks to the ribbon tweeter. I don't know, I think these sound really good. These would make a great addition to any studio if you're looking for a B monitor or just something else that is different from your main monitors to check mixes on or what have you. I will link down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.